hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a simple church flyer using adobe photoshop before any further ado let's get started then this is 1080 by 1080 for social media banner post so right the first thing i'm going to do now i'm going to copy my color code which is this ctrl plus c to copy then go to your solid color then ctrl plus v v to paste now i'm going to select a new layer then go to my brush Then I'm going to select this brush here. Then I'll leave it at this particular size. If you want to increase it, then you can increase it more or you reduce it. But now I'm going to use this. Then I'm going to copy this color code I'm going to use for the, for the brush. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now then i'm going to click here something like this all right then i'm after this then i'm going to import this image then drag it down here increase the size then go to your blending mode and i'm going to change it to add light and reduce the opacity to 21% something like this okay then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import this background image here then reduce the size like this then move it up here then reduce the opacity to 21% then i'm going to apply a layer mask then select my brush I'm going to change this brush to soft brush and then I'm going to reduce the size and I'm going to clean over here so something like this now go back again to your resource file and I'm going to bring this image position it here then reduce the size then I'll take it before then, I'm going to apply a layer mask. Then I'm going to use my brush to brush around here. Something like this. This is the area I need. Now I'm going to my bloody mode. I'm going to make use of this linear bone, something. Then I'll drag the image over here something like this then on this image i'm going to change the the opacity to 42 to 42 then this one should be the 21 this is the 21 then this one is 42 and this one the opacity i'm going to make the opacity 35 now on this one apply your layer mask then select your brush and i'm going to brush the top here then including the bottom here okay now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to bring a brush then select your brush again but before you bring the brush then create a new layer then go to your brush then i'm going to use a thumb paper brush then i'm going to select this one then i'm going to rotate it rotate it to this angle then reduce the size I'm going to change the color to white 
then you can now apply the brush so something like this all right so having done this one now i'm going to grade i'm going to bring my test then ctrl plus c to copy select your test to ctrl plus v to paste now reduce the size then open the character spacing reduce the size then i'm going to apply this color then copy the color ctrl plus c then ctrl plus v to paste then i'll drag it and position it around here so the font i'm using here is helvetica then here will be okay then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import this logo reduce the size then the next one go back to your resource again and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus j to duplicate this one then i'll position it somewhere here for now then ctrl plus v to paste you can move it into to this place for now then because i'm going to bring my test and position it where i would like it to be then ctrl plus c to copy this one then you can duplicate this one ctrl plus j then you bring it down highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste you can increase the size of the font a little not that much something like this then i'll position it around here then keep this one for here for now then go back to your test now i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c then select your test tool then i'm going to change the color to white then ctrl plus v to paste then position it here i'm going i will drag it somewhere here then i'm going to change the fonts then to this font here cage then increase the font size then ctrl plus j to duplicate it you bring it down then select your test tool while you highlight it and i'm coming over here to copy my test ctrl plus v to paste all right increase the size a little then use your arrow key then to bring it down like this then position it around here here will be okay now i'm going behind it then i'm going to select a cycle then hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle and cycle like this then i will take it up this way and i'm going to change the color so i'm going to copy this color ctrl plus v to paste then bring it down and take it to the 
right here something like this all right now i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j then hold your alt key then while you drag it in this way then i will go back and copy this color code then ctrl plus v to paste then duplicate it again ctrl plus j then i will have something like this then you can change this color to any color okay so now what i'm going to do now then i'm going to create another new layer at the top here then select this one and this one and i'm going to group it together now duplicate it ctrl plus j then you turn this one off why i will drag this one below in case anything will happen this one will be my backup i mean to convert this one to smart object or you can rasterize it then on this layer layer i'm going to create another brush so this brush here is a, a plaster brush so then i'm going to change the color of that brush and i'm going to copy this color code then go to my background here ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to apply this color on the test i mean on my new layer something like this then i'll come over here to do the same thing like this all right now i will reduce the opacity to something like 50 percent and i mean the flow then i'll click somewhere here then you drop your pen now what i'm going to do now i'm going to create a clipping mask on this so you can see it then and i'm going to use multiply so having done this one now then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to this cycle here then i'm going to rasterize them right click and rasterize All right, so we have rasterized them. Now I'm going to select the the test here. Then hold your control key. Then why I will click on it. Then go to your select. Then go to modify, expand. And I'm going to expand it by ten, something like this. Then come over to this first cycle here. Then I'm going to select my eraser tool. Then I'm going to apply it this way. Ctrl plus D to deselect. So to see the effect of what I did, then you have to turn this one off then and see what happened over there. So something like this. Okay. Now I'm going to select the top right angle cycle here then hold your control key then Y I click on it then select my eraser tool again then I'm going to select on this one turn this one off to see what is happening then something like this okay now control plus D to deselect now you can turn this one off or you delete it all right but for now i'm still using it so i'm not going to delete it so what i'm going to do now then i'm going to click on this one i'm going to click on this one then select this one i'm going to select this one then select my eraser to then turn this one off turn this one off so you have something like this you can see then then I'm going to reduce the flow. Something like this. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. So if you want, you can turn this one on. 
then you can possibly change the color by double clicking there then and go to your color here then and turn this color something like this so please you need to avoid this place carefully because it's very confusing so something like this now i'm going back to my test here then and i'm going to apply a blending option then i'm going to click on this drop shadow here okay as you can see here then my opacity is 100 percent then the distance is 29 then and the spread is 8 so i'm going to reduce the size of this drop shadow then and the distance i'm going to make the distance around 12 then the spread i'll leave it at 8 then why i'm going to reduce the size to 21 so it's okay like this then i'm going to click ok now having done this one then the next thing i'm going to do now and i'm going to create a rent angle then i'll draw a rent angle over here like this okay then i'm not going to change this color over here so something like this now i'm going to reduce the opacity to 80 the opacity should be 18 so all right after this one then and i'm going to copy my dates then first i'm going to copy this date here then select your test to Control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the color to black. Then I'll position it here. Okay. Then select your test tool again and I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the size. Okay, I'm going to copy this one, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then I'm going to change this font to Helvetica, now highlight this one and I'm going to reduce, okay then I'm going to reduce it this way, then position it around here and reduce the size like this all right okay now i'm going to create a line there like this then change the color to white then duplicate this one ctrl plus j and i'll drag it up here then now i will bring it down over here then come over to your test and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c then highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to reduce the size okay so very good all right then now i'm going to group
and this is for the test. Then I'm going to move this test up this way. Then select the present. Also, I'm going to move it here. And the happy, I'm going to bring it down this way. All right. Okay, so having done with this one now, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to import this image. So I've already removed the background. So I'm going to reduce it. Then position it here. Like this. Then I will increase the size of this test. Then the data time, use your arrow key then to move it up this way. Then the next thing I'm going to do, you see this cycle here, I'm going to select it, then pick my razor tool and I'm going to remove the top here. I'm going to remove the top here. All right, then take my flow back to 100%. Then go back to your test. I'm going to copy this test here. Select your test tool. Then I'm going to change the font to hold old scripts. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the size this way then select your test tool again then now this one i'm going to change it to helvetica then go back to your test i'm going to copy the test here ctrl plus c to copy then Ctrl plus V to paste. Change the font to white. Reduce the size. Then duplicate it. Ctrl plus J. I'll bring it down this way. Then you highlight it. And I'm going to copy the name here Ctrl plus V to paste then I'm going to increase the size of the name there like this then I'm going to group this one select the name then I'm going to reduce it all right, this way is okay. Now go back to your resource file and I'm going to import this logo icon. Reduce the size. Then go back to your test. And I'm going to copy. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Then I'm going to change font color to black. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the size. Then I'm going to change the alignment to rewrite. Then increase it a little. It's okay like this. Bring your icon to the front by using your arrow key. Now, I'm going back 
to this logo here and I'm going to reduce the size a little okay then place this one around here and I'm going to reduce the size a little more select this one and the test here then you bring it down it's okay like this so having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going to the top of this test then i'm going to import this light flare then change it to screen then i'll position it here so go to your filter then blow gaussian blow then i'm going to make use of 6.0 something like this then apply your layer mask select your brush then i'm going to make use of the soft brush then reduce this size and i'm going to clean over here like this it's okay then ctrl plus j to duplicate it and i'll bring this one over here now select the layer mass again select your brush why you brush the back here okay so having done this one then i'm going to select this one and the test and i'm going to group it together so and this is the test now i'm going to to the top then i'm i will group this one so this is the location so at the top of it i'm going to import this light flare here then change it to screen i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j then this one at the top i'm going to turn it off so this one now i'm going to to my blur then make use of six point point zero on this then i will position it around here okay now apply your layer mask then select your brush and i'm going to brush the edges so this is what you will get so now that you are done with this one then on this one then i'm going to turn it on now then i will go to the top here i'll position it then go to filter blow gaussian blow and i'm going to enter to blow it by 37 points point four it's okay then i'll click ok so you can see the light effect there now when i turn it off you see then when i turn it on then you will see the outcome of it now apply your layer mask select your brush and i'm going to brush around here like this then where i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate it then i'll bring this one and i'll position it around here ctrl plus zero then to fit it to page so you can see the design right so on this one then i'm going to blur it so that is the design here i'm applying blur uh, i mean reducing the opacity then this is 68 so i'm going to leave it like this initial i don't want to blur it then i'm going to leave it that way now 
I'm going to group this one control plus G so and this will be my heading so then and this I'm going to group it as the background then also select this one and group it so, and I'm going to rename this one as the light okay so that is it about the tutorial if there is anything changes then you think that will make the design more logo than this so let me know under the comment section thank you so much for watching i really appreciate remember to subscribe like and share and don't forget to join the membership channel thank you so much